Today I'm going to try and make a car emblem out of a light bulb. Let's get to it. Presented by Fiberglass. I'm getting everything ready to make my mold. So in the back there, I've got some fiberglass and right here, the fiberglass resin. Got some gel coat, some partal paste, PVA. Um, got my trusty light bulb. I've just got a metal that I ordered from Send Cut Send. It was really cheap. Um, that's just to get the uh, base. Um, I actually tried some plastic with not so good results. All right, very cool pattern, but not what we're aiming for. Got some brushes. These are just gonna be standoffs because this is gonna be kind of in the middle and that plate will be on top. I also had some of my logo here made out of various materials. Um, this is out of titanium, so I can make it blue if I want to. Uh, this is out of brass. My thought is this is probably all that I will use, but uh, we'll see. For the directions it says, like on the first mold, it says it should be buffed out three to four times. For the first layer, you want something that's pretty thin and will mold well to those lines. And I've just got some fiberglass mat, but one of the things, one of the tricks I've learned is the fiberglass mat is actually like one or two mats kind of together. And so they sell actually the thinner stuff, but you can also just get the thicker stuff and kind of just peel it apart. And this will kind of conform a lot better to those curves. And again, I like to do that for the first layer. It just dawned on me that I should get some sprayable gel coat now that I've got some spray equipment. All right, we're now going to see if we can take this off. So that came off really easy. And that came off really easy as well. It's a good example of PVA film. All right, next up is the logo. Um, this is out of brass and it's two dimensional, just laser cut. So this one needs to conform to the shape. Brass is fairly malleable. So I just kind of bent it around to match. So now I will uh, sand and polish this up. Here are the materials we're gonna use for the vacuum bagging process. So here's the plan. I'm gonna go ahead and make my vacuum bag um, so that this can all just be placed into the vacuum bag. I'll get my vacuum connector and everything all set up so that when I do the wet layup, I can just slide this in and turn the vacuum on. So I'll, I'll wax this first couple times. I'll make the vacuum bag with gum tape, get the peel pie and breather and everything all ready.
All right, it has been about 24 hours. We're gonna go ahead and take this off. So there we go, it looks pretty good. You can kind of see the wrinkles where the peel ply had wrinkles. So again, not too bad, looks pretty good. Got a couple tiny places just where we don't have kind of even resin coverage, but we're gonna fix that. All right, so my next step in the plan, I've got my logo in there. I'll put it kind of exactly where I think I want it. I'm gonna mix up some clear epoxy. This is an optical grade. And then I'll um, put some in there. I'll lay this on top and then we'll let it set. So that'll kind of get a little bit of a 3D effect and it should also give it a nice shine, same contour. We'll see how it goes. All right, I've got a makeshift vacuum chamber. I got this uh, pretty thick walled glass bowl and I'm gonna actually mix the resin in this, put it under the bowl, put the bowl on top. I've got a little hole in the rubber here they will stick the vacuum tube in. And the thought there is just to get all the bubbles out of the resin so it can be really clear. Uh, I'm then gonna pour it in here and place this carbon fiber one on top and let things cure. In theory, we'll come back um, later and peel this all apart and it should look really good. Okay, this has had enough time to set up, so we'll go ahead and see if we can take it off. All right, so this looks pretty good. Um, put an extra layer of epoxy on. The only challenge is, is there's like a bubble right in the middle. So what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try and sand it down. Um, that may mean I'll sand all the way down to the brass. I don't know how deep that bubble is. Um, if I do, I am wondering if I should actually kind of have this be, rather than polished, have it be kind of a roughed up finish. So it kind of sparkles more. So we'll see, if it goes that deep, um, I may do that and see what it looks like. All right, so I think I like that um, with this roughed up a little bit. So I'll, what I'll do is I'll put one more layer of epoxy over this um, just kind of as a barrier and then we can cut it out and I'll do some clear coat, get it ready, put it on the car. All right, here it is with the coat of epoxy on. We'll let this set up, but that's looking really good. All right, here this is all set up. Here it is to shape and sanded. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna put a couple layers of clear coat on it to help make sure that any epoxy doesn't fade or discolor. That was a super fun process, had some pretty good results. I'm glad you followed me all the way to the end. 
Um, if you're interested in doing anything like this, um, please look up Fiberglass. They got all your materials. And one of the things that sets them apart is they, they're a company that actually does this. They offer great support. So check them out. I'll have a link in the description below. That'll do it for this time. See you next time.